I thought about stopping the time twice uh, or in two situations. The first one is before a big accident. There you like to stop it, of course, as long as you can change the outcome. You know, if, if stopping the time and still the accident happening doesn't make uh, much sense. But if I can stop the time and change something, then of course that would work. And then I've also tried and I can stop the time to, rem to remember some very special moments, some really nice victories. You know, you want to stop the time and just have that picture and, and think about it for forever, you know. And, but that's something you can do in your mind. In Formula One, you talk about tenths of a second, hundreds of a second. Uh, we are used to that. We know that seconds is even too much, you know. And, and in Formula One, precision and going down to the last hundreds of a second is can make a difference. And uh, and we are always looking for that little time difference that can make it, that that be the difference from winning a race or from finishing third or fourth, you know, which it's all down to these small units. I hope I can be uh, 10 more years with Ferrari. You know, it's my second family. I'm so lucky to be part of that family. I'm living a dream. Being part of Ferrari is, is a dream. Every driver, every driver dreams of being of driving a Ferrari car. And I really hope that in 10 years time we can still I can still sit here and tell you that it's been now 20 years that I've been with Ferrari.